Hello, I am the Buddha one. I am a born-again software developer making my way around the universe of game development. I recently found my way of play canvas and wanted to see if I could create a first-person shooter with this wonderful tool. This series of videos are one of a multitude of ways to develop an FPS in play canvas. If you don't have your own way yet, come and borrow mine and enjoy the universe of game development with this really beginner-friendly game engine. In this form, I embody a former backend enterprise software engineer that has some familiarity with Unity, heard of Unreal Engine, and am a first time Play Canvas user. I have no real experience as a game developer, but like software development, I have a great respect for the technological advancements being made in the game development space. I'm presenting to you a series of video tutorials that will show you how I created the first-person shooter experience in Play Canvas. All videos for this tutorial, including this one, can be found here. This set of tutorials are accompanied with a Starter Play Canvas project, which you can fork for free and evolve as you follow along with the videos. The Starter project can be found here. Let me show you how to fork the project and get started. Click on the fork button to fork the project into your account. Provide a valid name for your project. Then click fork. Now you have your own copy. Click on the editor button to launch the editor. Click on the main scene. Now, let's just test that everything is set up properly by adding a prefab asset into your scene. Go to Prefabs, Architecture, and drag and drop a wall template into the scene. Just position the wall by dragging the up arrow on the move pretty small. And there you have it, a pretty wall. Booyah! Let's have a quick overview of the contents of the starter project. There are many directories at the root of this project. The directory names speak for themselves. Feel free to take a look around. Most of these directories contain contents that support our two most important core directories. These two important directories are prefabs and scripts. For those of you with game development experience, the prefabs will make sense to you. This is where we store all our prefabricated game entities. Play Canvas likes to call these objects templates. I've provided a collection of prefabs for you already so that you can follow along with the tutorials. Then in later sessions, we'll get into the full details of how each were developed. Scripts holds all the JavaScript scripts for our game engine project. Feel free to peruse this directory, explore and analyze its contents. But for now, simply follow the tutorial videos and in later sessions, we'll go into the full details of how each of the scripts were written. The rest of the directories contain assets that support these two main directories. Feel free to peruse them at your leisure. You should find these tutorials straightforward and simple to follow. And now, let us begin our journey to developing FPS player experience in Play Canvas. Oh yeah! I hope you found these videos useful. Want to keep watching videos like these? Hit that subscribe and like button below so I can make you more for free. Oh yeah!